Hey what's up guys welcome back to my channel today so I wanted to try something new I wanted to try to do a uh, get ready with me a voiceover style um, It's kind of different I mean I gotta get used to it like even trying to get used to wearing this hat was a challenge But um, you know I'm up for a good challenge uh, you guys already know how I get with my hair So you know Okay oh, what the heck But anyway uh, yes yeah, so this is a part of the tutorial we're gonna casually roll this up and um you know act like we have some superpowers but yeah so if you're interested in watching this uh you know powder foundation routine then stay tuned yeah 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 so let's begin so here i'm casually pointing at my face um it assumes like i'm saying that my face is a no-go <laughs> uh definitely not i wish i had something simple um I know the perfect solution and don't forget the Laura Mercier hydrating primer so your face doesn't look dry and the powder yes yeah, so smooth. definitely after that oh, um yeah. you could definitely tell that I put too much you don't have to put this much product uh, it starts to feel really good but like I know I'm wasting money so it feels bad um, so just gonna massage that in get it in as you can see that glow and interruption with a casual fight with this hat because this hair underneath is crazy but yes yeah, so let's move it into the skin Ha, nice and smooth and we are ready for the powder hi yeah and a close-up for no apparent reason I have no idea what I was showing you guys but uh, I know it was something yeah now I went with my oldie but a goodie the Mac studio fix full coverage powder foundation in NC 40 and I'm just showing you where I put it in the center of the face I'm just gonna get a huge glob of that and start working that under my eyes and just pack it on and just blend it out after as you can see there's like literally powder flying everywhere but that's normal and look at that coverage i mean from powder you can't go wrong i mean that's why this is one of my easy go-to kind of things because you know liquid you gotta work so hard whereas powder you just pack it on and watch it go so amazing brilliant <sighs> yes All right, guys, so just like the other side um, with the NC40 to highlight, now we're going to use NC45, the same Studio Fix Full Coverage Powder, glab that on, or glob that on, what am I saying? And like, just basically act like you're going to bronze up and contour the skin. Um, at the same time, this is going to add tremendous amount of coverage. Um, as you can see, you know, you just want to build it up and don't get scared because with powder, you can literally always blend it out and it will work out. Like right now, that contour, that side is looking crazy, but... You have to trust the process. Okay, okay. Yeah. And now here we're taking that same NC45 and using it to kind of contour the nose. Um, just kind of slim, slim, slim that down a little bit, make it more structured, especially for pictures and video. And you know, just kind of make sure everything's nice and snatched. All right, so, so far not looking too bad, not too shabby, not too shabby, uh, yeah, damn hat is always in the damn way, um, but maybe I'll just cut my whole damn head off and I don't have to worry about it. So just to be a little bit extra, I'm going to go with Anastasia Cappuccino Bronzer as kind of like a contour shade a little bit, just going to pop the cheeks and ooh, ooh, that looks a little strong, but like I said before, we're going to make it work. So fast forward this little mess here. Um, we're gonna get those cheekbones popping, so don't worry at all. Snatch the nose, give us a little Kim life, and that's about it. And then literally one of the saddest moments, my Champagne Becca, Champagne Bracklin Hill Champagne Becca broke, but it's alright, cause guess what? I'm still going to use it anyway, so uh, loose powders actually work a little bit better anyway from what I'm told and from my experience. See, look at that highlight. Yes. So we're just going to fast forward this and get that glow on, you know, tip of the nose, above the brow, a little bit of the lip, the chin, all that good stuff. And this is now when the powder look just comes together because before then you could look so matte. And then when we set this with the spray, we're just going to look glowy. And this is literally what we were working with so far. So we're literally almost done. Uh, just putting some highlight on the other side. You know, get a little extra pizzazz going on there. Uh, nothing too bad. 
Um, but in order for me to complete this look, I'm gonna need a little bit more color, probably a little bit of blush, because that's pretty much what I've been doing lately. And then, you know, we gotta finish up with that setting spray to kinda tie everything together and melt it into the skin. And then you just want to throw your palette at, no, 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 not today. And then literally the moment we've been waiting for our Morphe Continuous Setting Spray to really lock this in and just keep this going. No, that's not P, that's Setting Spray. Look at these couple of different angles, act like you're at a photo shoot, highlight pop in, you know, so innocent, can't help it. <laughs> But that is the finished look. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know if you like this content. Probably won't do it again, but it was worth the try. Deuces.